Hey everyone, just wanted to uh, reflect a little bit more on the election uh, from last week. It's been exactly one week, it's uh, Tuesday. Um, I want to talk a little bit about why I think that Hillary lost. Now, without going into the bullet points, you know, uh, process of the dozens and dozens of reasons why she lost, I just want to focus on two really important things that I think are the real reasons why Hillary lost. Uh, and was upset so badly. Um, it's, it was kind of interesting for me to watch um, how she ran her campaign. You know, she went through the primary process and Bernie Sanders won 22 states. He had her on the ropes. And quite honestly, uh, without the super delegates and without the uh, election fraud and voter fraud that took place uh, to benefit her, without all the help that she had from having the media and everyone else on her side, Bernie might have beat her. Now you would have thought that her campaign people would have gotten to California and and got their super delegates and won the and uh, won the nomination and then said to themselves, Whew, "Man, that was close." You know, you, you think they would have went back and analyzed and and saw that they had a pretty tough time beating old Bernie, and they you think that they would have looked back and analyzed. Uh, the Rust Belt, which is where Bernie Sanders did very, very well, uh, upset her uh, in, in a couple of contests, and damn near upset her in, in several more. I mean, he, he, he gave her everything she could handle up in the Rust Belt. And, uh, but they didn't, they didn't learn anything from that, despite the fact that it was Bernie Sanders with kind of a, a, a he, he was, you could say it was a populist message. Uh, it was a populist message from the left. But when they saw that Donald Trump's message was a populist message kind of coming from the right, you think that they would have looked at, looked at that and said to themselves, hey, you know, purely from a strategy point of view, you know, Bernie's populist message played very, very well in these states that we have to win. Now, Donald Trump's kind of got a populist thing going on. We, we better get concerned about these areas in the Rust Belt because Donald Trump could beat us in these Rust Belt states with that populist message the same way Bernie did. But they, they never learned from that. Uh, she, Hillary never went to Wisconsin one time. And she only really put effort into Michigan uh, uh, in the last, uh, really in the last two weeks when they saw that they were in trouble. Then she started going to these places and canceling places out in the West. So uh, by the time that the Clinton campaign realized that they were in trouble in the Rust Belt in Pennsylvania and Michigan, Wisconsin, and, some, and even to some extent Minnesota, uh, she didn't carry Minnesota by nearly what she should have. Uh, by the time they realized it, it was too late. And then, of course, you had the Comey reopening the email investigation, which I don't think really hurt her uh, in terms of the actual email investigation, but it took her off message in the last week where she wanted to be talking about what she uh, wanted to do, her positive agenda, which is what you want to do in the last week to 10 days, go positive and talk about what you're going to do and stop beating up the other guy. She was forced to stay on uh, on the offensive against Donald Trump personally, and, and, and she never had a chance to do what you normally want to do at the end of a campaign. Donald Trump was. He was able the last week and a half, two weeks, to just go out and stay on message, talk about the things he wanted to do. And if you look at the margins of victory in Pennsylvania, uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, they, they weren't that large uh, of margins of victory. It, it turned out to be fairly small margins, but it was enough. It was enough to carry the states and enough to deliver him the victory and her the devastating defeat. So uh, Hillary Clinton and her team are solely responsible for their defeat. They, they, from a strategic point of view, didn't do a very good job. I mean, they just didn't. Donald Trump's uh, uh, people, Bannon and um, Kellyanne and the rest, did a much, much better job uh, of strategy at identifying the places where they could cut into Hillary Clinton. And uh, they did exactly that, and they were successful. So uh, bad strategy on the part of the Clinton campaign. Uh, they never learned any lessons from the primary with Bernie Sanders. Didn't learn uh, anything. And, and that's one major reason why Hillary Clinton lost. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into all the character things. We all know about all that, okay? 
So I don't even want to go there. But the next most important reason is, is because if, if you looked at the Hillary campaign from the very beginning, uh, even before the, the campaigning even began, I mean, this began like three years ago, uh, when they were laying the groundwork uh, for her campaign. It was all about Hillary electing the first woman, breaking the glass ceiling, you know, her campaign slogan, I'm with her. Hillary's campaign was a, was flawed from the very beginning because it was all about Hillary Clinton. All about her. And the people in the country, particularly those who are suffering in certain areas of the country, don't give a flying shit about Hillary Clinton or any other damn politician. They care about themselves and their own situation. Hillary made her entire campaign about her. Donald Trump, on the other hand, made the entire his entire campaign about the people, particularly the blue-collar middle class, the forgotten men and women of the middle class. So Trump's campaign was all about them, and for Hillary Clinton, it was all about her. So a horribly flawed uh, uh, campaign from the very beginning for Hillary Clinton. And, you know, for all this talk about breaking the glass ceiling, well, you know, an historic first. Donald Trump broke a big glass ceiling and an historical first. First, he had a female campaign manager, uh, Kellyanne Conway, who uh, led him to victory. And I believe that's one of the first times that I can recall a, a female in that position succeeding at, at, in, uh, at that level. So that was a first, you can say. But Donald Trump really broke, broke a major glass ceiling as well. He's the first American to be elected president that wasn't either a former politician or a general. Every other president we've had has either held elective office or been the general of the army such as the case of Washington, although George Washington did have uh, some, some political background. He did serve in the House of Burgess uh, in Virginia, and he was connected to the political class. Um, so he was a little bit more involved in politics, and it wasn't just that he was the general that led, led us to the Revolutionary War. He, he, he was involved in politics uh, in Virginia. Uh, Ulysses S. Grant <clears throat> was never really involved in politics. Uh, he was a general in the Civil War, and the winning general of the Civil War. So um, he's an example of, of someone who was outside the politics, but he, he was a general. And of course Eisenhower, who was a, a general as well. But Donald Trump is the first American to ever be elected president who wasn't either a former general or a politician. So he broke a very big glass ceiling as well, a very historic uh, event. So, anyway, just uh, that's my thoughts on uh, why Hillary failed, the two main reasons. There's many, many other reasons that you could go into, but those are the two big ones that stand out to me. So, anyway, if you, uh, you like this video and you want to, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down, but anyway, uh, of course, I always appreciate comments. I love comments. That's why I love about uh, the alternative media, the independent media, is that... Um, you know, you actually get to have an interaction. You know, I'm very interested in what people think about, you know, my analysis, and uh, uh, we all learn from each other. So, you know, always love it when people comment on my videos. So uh, I learn a lot from um, everyone out there. I don't know everything. I'm just, you know, a guy out here in the country with an opinion that likes to analyze things, and uh, and I learn from a lot of people. And uh, so uh, love it if you comment on the video. Of course, uh, love it if you share my videos and, uh, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would be awesome. Alrighty, thanks, everyone. See you. Bye.